For honest-to-goodness home-cooked food, Mama knows best. But if you want to chow down on a Triceratops, Mama knows Jack. And I'm so hungry, I could eat a Triceratops now. If only I knew how. They say you are what you eat. So, I'm a bowl of nachos grande with a side order of guacamole. But if I ate a Triceratops, I'd be a 9-meter long, 3-meter tall herbivorous dinosaur from 65 million years ago. Uh, yay? Triceratops translates as three-horn face. Wow! A mature Triceratops sports horns almost a meter long, which makes killing one for T a risky business. Oh, no! Even for T-Rex. It may be safer to look for the carcass of a recently deceased Triceratops who's been involved in a tragic <clears throat> accident. Butchering the carcass of a six-ton semi-armored Ceratopsid will require special tools. Unless you're T-Rex, who has possibly the biggest teeth and bite of any animal ever known. With the largest skull of any land animal and a bony neck frill almost two meters wide, the head of your Triceratops has little nutritional value. And by removing it, you'll have far better access to the highly prized neck meat. To decapitate it, first, grab onto the neck frill with your teeth. This will give you the extra leverage required to violently wrench the head from the body. If this makes you uncomfortable, practice first on a couple of jumbo shrimp. What goes in must come out, and what comes out of T-Rex is amazing. Up to 50% of a T-Rex's turd is made up of bone fragments, which means they let very little Triceratops go to waste. The most common way for humans to ingest animal parts they don't normally like thinking about is to make a burger. If we were to mince up our Triceratops carcass minus the head, we'd have enough reclaimed meat derivative to make over 50,000 quarter pounders. That's enough to give everyone at a Newcastle United soccer game a free burger. They'd like that. If you have any dinosaur recipes, please let us know in the comments below.